well welcome to computer architecture k architecture class 7 and in this class we will study in a modality of on demand so i will prepare video lecture for all the classes and this is the guideline how you can use this on demand you may already experience with some of course in on demand and this course basically we started in in person so already you have joined six classes we have studied face to face and the next four class we will study in on demand basis before going to the content let's have a look how i want to manage this on demand class for you well i pick this four class for on demand with definitely some objectives and there are two main objectives the first thing is once i make it on demand for you you can take in it whenever and wherever you want and as much as each time you like so you have no limitation, no time. You can listen and access the content and video as much as you can. That helps you to improve your communication skill, I believe. And the second thing is learn how to incorporate offline activities in an online curriculum. Well, let's move to the content and system so i will prepare a video lecture in english for all the contents so each part contain 10 to 15 minutes of lecture and there are several such segment of videos and you have your reading materials of course you have to read your textbook on top of that you have to do two additional things one is classwork that i call it here the virtual classwork as you know in uh, in our early classes all of you solve some classwork sometime it is a group work sometime you do it by yourself so in in this lecture you also need to solve some classwork and submit it on top of that you have to submit the attendance report as a part of attendance of this class well let me clarify these two things what is classwork and attendance report Remember, the classwork and attendance report is totally different thing and different purposes. So first, let's discuss about the classwork. The classwork you submit me every day in the class helps me to understand how much content you understand and that helps me to develop and design the content for the next classes. So carefully submit all the class work so that I can prepare the next class after reading the class work. And the attendance report is totally different than class work. It's a re record that you join and attend the classes. Both, both of these two things need to done in Moodle. So you need to upload to separate PDF file for classwork and attendance report. Here is the content for this segment of on-demand course. So you have a scheduled class in May 30, June 6, June 13, and June 20. The classes are regarding microarchitecture, particularly single cycle processor and the multi-cycle processor. So these four classes will be uploaded in the module the day when the class is scheduled. 
For example, in June 6, I will upload the content for the single cycle processor in advance. The last but not least is how you can contact with me during this on-demand part. Well, very simple, you can email me or you can message in module. So in case of email, you need to careful about the subject there is a guideline so you need to write your student id underscore the course name for example here i give my id underscore case and key architecture that will be your subject line so i will answer your question in either module or the reply mail well on top of that there is another option in the end that you can join a live meeting if you have or if you want to ask any question. So to do this, please email me before you join to the session. Particularly, you don't need to email me your question. I just want to know that someone want to talk with me and have some question. So just let me know and join this session. I will be online if you have any question in June 20 from 16 to 19. So that's all in instruction for this on demand classes and there are several videos for the content and this is all for your instruction enjoy your lesson thank you